Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter here on YouTube. Um, today I have for you two kits that I bought myself from AliExpress. I cannot pronounce the name of the store, so I will link everything in the description. Um, if you notice that the crinkly plastic is off, it's because I actually was shooting this video before and my webcam froze after I got most way through un unboxing and packaging, however you want to say it, one of them. So I went on took off the crinkly from this one and decided to do this again after a few hour break so I could calm down because everything was going wrong. Let's see how this one goes. That was my little bit of TMI. Alright, let's start with this one, which is the one I actually started with earlier. This, like I said, I bought these myself, so of course I'm excited about them because I picked them out. I thought they were, I thought this one was just absolutely adorable. I like these bags they come in with the little hanger and the little snap. They feel pretty sturdy. So I will already have put an image or a picture of it up on the screen when I was earlier when I was talking about it, but here, what flare, but is that not adorable? Look at all the kittens, and they have little baskets of load, load of fun, it's just really cute. Alright, the pattern. Four pages, two full ones, two partial ones. It shows here that it is 130 stitches wide by 169 stitches high. I got the 11 count. I did not see a 14 count option, but they did have the 9 count, which I feel like is maybe a little too big for me. It has 33 collars, all full stitch. Let's see if the site says how big it is. the count it says it's 38 by 47 centimeters which is the actual canvas size I'd measured it earlier and it was like 29 by 30 30 I can't remember mm. Turn this around so it shows the 33 colors and their symbols it looks like it's pretty clearly printed it's really saturated with color but it's not like bleeding into or blown out or I don't know how you would say it but it's not it's very clear and every stitch is in its own little square like it's supposed to be it's not offset it's not you know, I'm not going to be struggling to figure out if it goes in this square or that square. There's nice sized blocks of color and there's enough variety. It's not really confetti because a lot of them connect or are very close to each other and it's not single stitches, but it's enough variety to, you know, keep you from feeling like you're bored just stitching long, big blocks of color has a couple needles in it. I'm taking those out because I'm always scared of rust. You can see the kitties. You can see their little ears. That one's mostly black. In the back, you can see the words. So I think this is going to actually turn out really well. I mean you can see, I think you can see on the screen most of the detail and I feel like if you can see the detail then it comes out pretty good. The pattern was printed just as clearly. I think I'll be purchasing from the store again. Let's see, there was two needles and then there's like eight, eight more needles. So there's like ten needles all together that they sent and some snips. That's really nice because I never get snips with any, any of the kits. Okay, let's check out the floss. 
my desk is a mess. I really need to fix that. So here is 1 through 18. Doesn't look too bad on camera. Still not quite as vibrant as what I'm seeing with my eyes, but it might depend on the monitor too. And if you can see how just pretty these colors are. There's the black. See, there is, it's a good bit of black, but it's not overwhelming enough to give it good shade, good detail. And, you know, the black cat. There's purples and greens, which are some of my favorite colors. There's a really vibrant green, pretty blues. But a really light gray. Okay. 19 through 33. Like I said, there's 33 colors and they're all full stitch. There is no half stitch, back stitch, anything. Some grays, some more muted purples. These look like more muted colors. Light color, I don't know if it's white or just a cream. Kind of looks like an off white. I think this is going to be really cute. It's a little different than a lot of the ones I get. I like really detailed, really just beautiful canvases, but this was so cute it just called to me. It's like, you have to buy me. And this is a sticker. Now it's probably too big for the notebook I use to keep track of everything, but that's really nice. I got a nice big sticker. Alright, moving on to the next one. Let's see, I have not looked in this one yet. The other one I had to open before. Okay. Same plastic bag with the hanger and the snap. I have to tell you, the other one's just called Cats. And it shows that it was originally $16.46. It's showing it's $5.66 USD on AliExpress right now. Um, I paid $5.79, so it's actually a little cheaper than what I got it for. So this one. It's called Girl G Sway. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it's the same name as the store. So, Girl. This is called Girl. This one, I also got 11 count. And it says it's 51 by 69 centimeters. I guess this one doesn't come with a sticker. So, I will insert put a picture up so you could see it or I probably should already have but you might be able to see it in the camera. There wasn't so much glare. Anyway it's a girl sitting in her chair sewing or embroidering. She had a little puppy with horns and a squirrel standing on her desk. I don't know there's a lot of cute little details in it. It's just sort of, I just picked a couple really cute little patterns this time. Charts. This one is 186 stitches wide by 268 stitches high. It shows it's also available on 9 count, 11 count, and 14 count. All I'm seeing right now on the site is 9 count and 11 count. It is current, it says it's originally $23.07 and right now it's $7.94 on the site which is a little bit more than what I spent but I think I had like a first time buyer discount or something so I got mine for four dollars and ninety cents. Pages are nice and sturdy too. Okay so looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages for the chart. Um, looks like it goes, yeah, it goes this way. So one, two, three, four. Sorry for all the noise. Five, six, or five, six, seven, eight. 
they're not numbered, but you should be able to go by the stitch count across and down. So like this one starts at 140, goes down to 200, this starts at 200, or 201, and goes down to 270. Looks like it's printed really easily. I mean, you can, it's very clear, you can read it easily. She even has slippers on. Oh, it's little details that I really like. Alright, there is 44 colors. Looks like all full stitches. No, no back stitch, no half stitch, no, no quarter stitches, nothing special. So she should be really easy to stitch. Let's look at the canvas. It's a little more difficult than it should be. Alright. I'm going to try to eventually find a larger space to do this. Just right now I use my webcam to record and that makes it difficult for me to move around. Alright, so let's start at the top. You can see all the little details. You can see the creatures on her desk. You can see her and her embroidery. You can see all the stuff on her shelves. I just love it. The little pennant, her garland. Her desk, her feet, her slippers, her rug beneath her. This also has two needles in it. Those are really big eyed needles, too. You can see all the 44 symbols that are used. Got to look. You can tell I'm still not used to doing unboxings, but I forget to give you all the details that I like to listen to in other people's unboxings. Like, do the symbols match the chart? Do the colors match? Is everything the same? The answer is no. <laughs> so you will follow the symbols that are printed on the canvas, not on the chart, because these have very specific designs for each square and this has actual symbols but you know same order so it still should be pretty easy to follow and I usually don't have any pro problem with the stamp kits I get and most of them are like that where you have to follow what's on the canvas not what's on the chart all right let's look at the floss it's probably one of my favorite I could not vote that Probably one of my favorite things to look at is the floss. Look, again, got some snips. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's six. Six needles in here, so a total of eight came with that kit. And it's possible I miscounted the first kit. No, I didn't. Ten with the first one, eight with that one. I think people just maybe pick them up and throw them in. Right. A little bit tangled up. This is why I like the floss drops. I know a lot of people don't seem to like the floss drops, but this happens to me every time. No matter how I put up my floss, I end up getting them tangled whenever I pull them out to get floss to use. So I like the floss wraps because I can just use them. I have a couple out that I want to use. All right, here is one through 18. Yeah, it looks like it's really pale on camera. It's really darker and more vibrant. Especially like that one. It's almost more like when the shadow hits it, where the shadow is. Looks more like what I'm seeing. And this is like a rusty orangey brown. 
They're really nice colors though. Apparently there's just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not too much black. Let's try this. 19 through 36. A little bit of pink. A little bit of this too. A little bit of this pink. I swear it looks like the same pink to me. But I'm guessing it's just slightly different. I mean, he's going to bring out some detail. Look at that pretty, like, mint green. It does not look mint. It looks light blue on the camera, at least for me. That's kind of a minty green. And then here is 37 through 44. Baby blue. Sky blue, green, tans. She is going to be pretty. Her room is going to be pretty. Some fall colors, some bright colors. Kind of like a fall and spring mix of colors here. Probably be easier if I say palette, since I say colors weird. I do not know when I'm going to start on either of these kits. I think it depends on what acrostic pops up for December. Or what mood I'm in. If I am a mood stitcher, I might just decide I want to start everything. I really do like that they send snips. I might not use them. I don't know. I always lose them. I don't know what I do with them. Because I had some that I bought and I have no idea where they went. Alright, so that is it for my unboxing from AliExpress. I have some other stuff coming. Um, I have some diamond paintings coming from AliExpress. I have, I have a Timu haul unboxing that I'm going to upload soon. I have more stuff coming from Timu or Timu. I have another collaboration video coming up. I haven't received the stuff yet. Mm, so please, if you like this at all, even though it was very rambly and disjointed today, if you liked it at all, give me a like, maybe consider subscribing. If you know anybody that would like my content, diamond painting, cross stitch, rambling about books, I tell the whole story sometimes, please share, share it with them. I love, I love having subscribers. I love knowing that someone's listening to me talk because I don't have anyone in person. To talk to you about all this stuff so it's fun knowing someone out there wants to hear about my cross stitching or my diamond painting or the audiobooks I listen to. Alright well that is it for me today. Um, thank you so much. Like I said don't forget to like and subscribe maybe share and I will see you next time. Bye bye.